Well, I'm getting ready for a trip tomorrow. I'm going to be driving to uh, Jackson, Wyoming. It's about 175 miles. I have to cross the Tetons and uh, get into one of the most beautiful valleys in the world, going over the most beautiful mountains in all the world. I've got to pick up a bronze down there in Jackson Hole, Wyoming at Mountain Trails Gallery and bring it back up here to Bozeman to be recolored. So it would cost close to $500 to have it crated up and shipped up. It's a lot cheaper to drive 175 miles just to pick it up. So I won't be sculpting tomorrow, but I will take you on my trip. I'm going to go over there and start sculpting right about now. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've spent another half hour trying to get pictures of a couple of clays that I'm going to take down with me too. As long as I'm going down there, I want to see if I can put a couple of my nearly finished clays on display to sell at precast price in the gallery. And I just wanted to take pictures of those clays so that uh, they have an idea of what I'm bringing down. Okay. This is uh, pictures I've taken off of my reference materials that I have. These are pictures taken of uh, mountain men on horseback and uh, in a reenactment in Wyoming. And uh, it shows me what taps would have looked like back then. As you can see here, this guy's riding through tall sagebrush. And the last thing you want, if you're wearing moccasins, is to have your toes get bruised by sagebrush as you're riding through them. Let me see if I can get a close-up of a tapadero. And there's a tapadero there. And uh, let's see, I'm done. Let's do this one. There's another picture of a tapadero there. I know it's not too good being on the phone and everything, but... Anyway, that just giving you an idea of what I'm going to be doing it is some kind of tapadero. And I, every mountain man, almost every mountain man I saw uh, photographs of uh, had tapaderos. Okay, I'm not going to actually sculpt his foot because that'd be a waste of time because he'd just be covered up anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the taps, or at least do the the basic form of them on his foot. And uh, I know it's going to be hard to see me doing this. And then I'm going to take uh, some rolled monster clay and put it on top for the uh, part that's going to hang down. What I'm doing is just this, the form of the tapadero. All right, the key is to get both tap sides of the tapadero flap flaps to be the same shape. And I'm going to angle him down just a little bit right there. They come into a pinch right there. Again, the reason I'm doing it in this uh, monster clay is because of it's holding its shape better than a regular plastiline clay. And then it's just a matter of blending in the... Uh, 
clay with the uh, monster clay. There we go. That looks pretty darn good. Okay, I got this side blended in. It doesn't really matter what kind of clay you use. Or if you use wax and clay, or wood and clay, or whatever. Once it's cast in bronze, it all looks the same. And if you do it well, you'll never know that there was a difference in materials used to create the object. Okay, there's some conchos that attach the uh, tap to the uh, stirrup. Okay, I need some ties that come out of the uh, conch, and that's what ties it onto the uh, stirrup. To get these the same size, I ran them through my pasta machine. Okay, the last thing I do on these is paint the uh, monster clay to look like uh, the regular clay. Doesn't matter if you paint the clay too because it all dries to look the same. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'll pick this up in a couple of days when I, uh, well, actually, Wednesday, I'll be uh, picking up or taking care of the molds that are at the uh, storage units that they're in now and moving them to another storage unit. So I probably won't be back until Thursday or Friday on this clay. But I'll take you on my trip tomorrow. It'll be posted probably tomorrow evening. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Go. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.